This lesson, we are going to learn how to solve a linear system by elimination. Here are the steps. First, line up the equations, which means the x term, the y term, and the constant terms, they all need to be lined up. Second, make one of the variables in both equations to have the same coefficient, which means either the numbers in front of the x are the same or the numbers in front of the y terms are the same. Third, we use addition or subtraction to eliminate the variable that has the same coefficient in order for us to solve for another variable. And once we have the value of one of the variable, then we can substitute back into one of the equation here to solve for another variable. And then we will have our solution, which is our conclusion. Let's look at example one. First, we label equation one and two and verify whether or not the equations are already lined up. So we can check x turn and then the y turn equal sign constant turns. That means they are already lined up. Step two, we need to make sure one of the variable have the same coefficient. Here, when we talk about the same coefficients, we only talk about the numbers without the positive and negative sign. So let's take a look at x. This is a 1. That's a 2. They are not the same thing. For the y term, this is negative 1, which we see as a 1. And this is a positive 1. That means the y term, they have the same coefficient. Step 3. We have to decide whether or not we should use addition or subtraction. Because this is negative 1, that's a positive 1, I need to add those two equations in order for the y to be eliminated. So let's do equation 1 plus equation 2, and we will have x plus 2x, which is 3x, and negative y plus y will be 0, and 0 plus 3 will be 3. And then we can find 3x equals to 3x equals to 1. And once we have x equals to 1, we can substitute back into equation 1, and we will get 1 minus y equals to 0, subtract 1 on both sides, we will get y equals to 1. Oftentimes, the question will ask you to check your solution, and here is what we need to do. From equation 1, we write down the left-hand side of equation 1, which is x minus y, Substitute the value that we just find to see what's the value. And in this case, the left-hand side equals 0. And we write down the right-hand side of the equation 1, which is also a 0. Because left-hand side and right-hand side, they are equal. Therefore, 1, 1 is on line 1. Next, we have to check with the equation 2. Once again, you have to write down the left-hand side, which is 2x plus y. Substitute the value that we just find, we're going to get a 3. On the right-hand side, it's already a 3. So since left-hand side equals the right-hand side, therefore the point is also on line 2. Because the point is on line 1 and the point is also on line 2, therefore our solution, which is the point of intersection between those two lines, is at 1, 1. Example 2. As you can see, the equations are already lined up, except for the coefficient of the variables are not the same. So for the x term, it's 3 and 4, and for the y term, it's 4 and 5. That means our first step is to make one of the variable to have the same coefficient. So let's label then equation 1 and 2, and I have decided to make the coefficient of the x term to be the same. So first, I have to look at a common multiple between 3 and 4, which is a 12. So I know 3 has to times by a 4 to get a 12. That means the equation 1 has to times by 4. So when you write equation 1 times by 4, that means every single term has to times by 4. Then you will get 12x plus 16y equals to 80. And for equation 2, in order for the 4x to become 12, you have to times by 3. That means equation 2 times by 3. When you decided to times by 3 to equation 2, that means every single term, they need to be multiplied by 3. Then you will get 12x plus 15y equals to 30. And now, since we changed the questions, we changed the equations, so we have to give them a different label, 
which we write equation three and four. Next, we have to figure out whether or not we should use addition or subtraction to eliminate the variable x, since the coefficient of the x terms are both positive. That means I know I have to use subtraction in order for them to become zero. So I write equation three minus equation four. So twelve x minus twelve x equals zero. Sixteen y minus fifteen y, you get one y, and eighty minus thirty, you get fifty. So we know y equals fifty. Now we substitute y equals fifty. Back into one of the equation. Here I choose equation one because the numbers are smaller to work with. Then I will get three x plus two hundred equals twenty. Subtract two hundred on both sides and divide by three on both sides. You will get x equals negative sixty. Therefore, our solution will be at negative sixty fifty. Example four. Now we are going to solve a linear system. With fractions in there, so first let's label equation one and equation two, and we are going to simplify each equation first. In the first equation, the common denominator between two and three is six, so we're going to write those three terms in terms of denominator of six, and we look at the first fraction, denominator of three to become six, you have to times by a two, so we also need to times by a two into the numerator. Second fraction, two to become a six, we have to multiply a three. So numerator also needs to times by a three. Number one can be written as a fraction one over one. That means the denominator has to times by a six. That means the numerator also needs to times by a six. Now let's multiply equation one by six. This will allow us to remove the denominator. Then we do expansion and simplification. Keep the variables on the left hand side, constant term on the right. Now we have generate a new equation, equation three. Let's do the same thing for equation two. From equation two, we can see the common denominator is a fifteen. So we are going to change every single term into a common denominator of fifteen. First fraction, denominator five to become fifteen, you have to times by a three. So numerator times by a three. Second fraction three to become fifteen, you have to times by a five. So we times by a five into the numerator. The last term is a constant two. Two can be written as a fraction two over one. So when the denominator one to become fifteen has to times by fifteen, numerator also needs to times by a fifteen. Let's multiply equation two by fifteen. This will allow us to remove the denominator, expand and simplify, collect the like terms. Keep the variables a and b on the left, constant term on the right. So that's our equation four. Let's rewrite the linear system using equation three and equation four. Since they are already lined up, all we need to do now is to make one of the variable to have the same coefficient. Here, I'm choosing b to have the same coefficient. We know the common multiple between three b and five b is fifteen b. This means equation three has to times by five to get ten a plus fifteen b equals sixty five. That's called equation five. Then equation four has to times by three to get nine a plus fifteen b equals sixty nine. That's called equation six. In order to eliminate the b, we know they are both positive. That means we have to subtract them to eliminate the variable b. So we do equation five minus equation six. 10a minus 9a will give us 1a. 15b minus 15b, you will get zero. 65 minus 69, you get negative four. Once we know a equals negative four, we will substitute back into equation three to find our variable b. So we substitute negative four into the a. We will get two times by negative four plus three b equals thirteen. Then we will get negative a plus three b equals thirteen. At a on both sides, you get three b equals twenty one. Divided by three on both sides, you get b equals seven. Therefore, our solution is negative four and seven. Example five: Elimination will be very effective to use whenever you have more than two variables. First, 
Let's label equation 1, 2, 3. Then we need to decide which variable to have the same coefficient. Here, I'm going to make z to have the same coefficient. The common multiple between 1, 1, and 5 is going to be 5. So equation 1 times by 5 to get a new equation number 4. Equation 2 times by 5 to get a new equation number 5. Equation 3, since the z already has a coefficient of 5, so we do not change it. Between equation 4 and equation 5, this is negative 5z and this is positive 5z. So we have to use addition to eliminate them. So first we write equation 4 plus equation 5. Then we have a new equation number 6. Between equation 4 and equation 3, since they are both negative 5z, so we have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable z. So we do equation 4 minus equation 3 and we get a new equation number 7. Next, we have to choose another variable to have the common coefficient. The common multiple between 45 and 17 is way too big. So we decide to make the variable x to have the same coefficient. At the same time, we can see all the terms in equation 6 can be divided by 5. So I decided to simplify it first. Equation 6 times by 1 over 5, I got a new simplified equation. Now that tells me Equation 7's coefficient of the x term can be multiplied by 8. So we do equation 7 times by 8. I got 8x plus 136y equals negative 649. Now, the variable x, they have the same coefficient. Since they are both positive, so we have to use subtraction to eliminate the variable x. So we do equation 9 minus equation 8. I got 127y equals negative 635 divided by 127 on both sides, y equals negative 5. Once we know the value of one of the variable, then we will substitute back into the other equation to find the other variable. That's substitute y equals negative 5 into one of the equation here. You can use 6, 7, 8, or 9. Here, I will say equation 7 will be a lot easier because the numbers are smaller. So we're going to substitute into equation 7. After you simplify it, isolate for the variable, you will get x equals to 4. Now we only need to find z. So we can substitute x equals to 4, y equals negative 5 into either equation 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Here I choose equation 1. Once again, because the coefficient is smaller, the numbers are also smaller. And I will simplify the equation to get z equals to 3. Therefore, the solution is 4, negative 5, and 3.